wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. Hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose food should be healthy at the very least. Um, listen up, Bancho. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Bancho. I don't really talk, but I've been listening. Oh, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? Now, Bancho, this loss here is just... It is my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Let me make it up to you. Oh, well, gosh, I'm a very busy woman. Why is it so much bigger text? What you witnessed today aren't what I can really do. I have a huge dick and I put it usually into my food. But you can't be talking about saying you have something else you think will satisfy me. Yes, my What's up, y'all? My name is Polar Bear and welcome back to my channel, Polar Bear Problems. Playing around with the new camera angle, so let's try it out. It doesn't even matter because this is not going to have a camera anyway in it. But we're back with Dave the Diver. We're just kind of going through the motions. I don't really mean that, but we're just trying to grow this restaurant. So uh, I hope that you'll join me in this episode of Bancho Sushi The Experience. Uh, make sure you like or dislike this video. Comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with all the cool things that I'm doing on my channel. And also, keep an eye out for my super secret new channel coming out soon. I'm working on the graphics and everything right now and uh, editing a couple videos for it. So hopefully that'll be out soon. Uh, I love y'all. Let's hop right into it. Oh man, it's raining. It is rough waters. All right, let's see what all we got, baby. Let's see what all we got. Okay, so... Uh... Huh. So we can get new suits and stuff. What do I have? 988? What do these motherfuckers want? Ooh! Uh, deliver some pink seashells. Cool! New research points. That's good. Uh... Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool, so I just need more pink seashells. What is this? Fangtooth and blue spotted stargazer. I don't know if I've encountered the blue spotted stargazer yet. I don't think I have actually. Sounds intense. Um so last time we got uh oh, let me get this off. We got um What's it called? Stuff to catch tuna with. Um. What time is it? Okay, it's morning. Um. Yeah, let's go in. I wonder if it raining is going to have any effect on the fish that are underwater, you know? Harpoon can be enhanced. Oh, I did get a new harpoon too. That's sick. What does RT do? Oh, do I want to press it? I don't remember what it does. Let's uh, put this out. Oh, RT just... Try again. Jesus, these things are strong as fuck. Nothing really, son? Does nothing to y'all? Why are y'all so strong? How do I even catch y'all, man? What the hell? How much health do y'all have? I, I don't even want to keep trying. Well, that's lame. Huh. Interesting. So, 
Then what am I doing? <coughs> Sneezing, apparently. Shock bang stick I will take. Excuse you, excuse me. Fuck you. Oof. Too easy, son. Too easy. Do I want jellyfish? Oops. What the fuck did I just catch? Oh. Okay. I don't really care about catching jellyfish. I need tuna, but I don't have... Stuff to catch tuna. I need one of those net guns, right? I'm pretty sure that's what I need. <sighs> A douchebag. Ow. Don't touch me. Need to find an oxygen thing pretty quick. Excuse you. There we go. How much HP does a tuna have? Okay, so we're going deeper. There's a barracuda. There's a gun. Some glass in my ass. I'll take this as well. Oh, man. I feel like I was making chambered nautilus something. The small things actually sell for quite a bit. I do need to find some... Fucking oxygen, though. Oh, excuse me. There's gotta be some oxygen. Yeah, there we go, baby. Yes. Give me that. Perfect. What are those? What the fuck were those? Seahorse? Don't mind if I do. Oh, what are you? What the fuck? What are you? Clown frogfish. Huh, oh, there's a sawtooth over there. Don't need that. I need brittle starfish for something, I think. Oh, there's the tiger shark. Here's a couple pink seashells. Don't mind if I do. Tiger shark, you just shut up and stay over there, alright, asshole? Fuck off over there. I did get an okay amount of tuna from the the sub trip I made the other night, but Come here. Thank you. I would like to see if I can mm. net is not going to be good against this guy. Yep, didn't do shit, of course. Who could have saw that coming? Move! Oh! Ugh. Ew, please! Good lord. What? 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 Oh shit, what is this? Oh, fuck. Oh, what the hell did I just do? Damn. Quick time events to fuck up that shark? I, I'll take it. Okay, he goes up there, I do this. Then I come here, I shoot his ass. Excuse you. Rude as fuck. There we go. I'm not gonna use my sub on this pinche. Nice. I hope y'all are enjoying this series as much as I am, because I'm really having fun playing it. Like, a lot of fun. What is this, ore? I gotta remember how to get to that... F the fucking depths, the blue hole. You know? Is it over this way? It might be down that way. Is it down this way? Ooh, this is looking good. This is looking... Yep, this is looking very blue hole depths. Tell you what, let's get some... some... some of this. And then let's kill this fang tooth. Oh! <clears throat> Come on! Yes! Alright. So that wasn't a fang tooth, that was an angler fish. 
but you are oh uv light okay that'll come in handy in just a second grab some of y'all boop boop come here boop perfect okay let's see wonderful excellent perfect ow fuck Okay, let's keep going down. Oh man. You know it's tough being a diver out here. People don't respect you at all. They just think you're here to fucking do their bidding. Can I even hit him? No? What the fuck do I use against that thing? Maybe I have to come back at night or something? Oh, look at this shiny boy. Oh, maybe I do this. Let's try this. Bye bye. Ah, <laughs> yes. Spider crab. Spider crab. Spider crab. Spider crab. Climbs on walls. What are you? Open the box. Ooh, a lightning harpoon. Okay. Fragment. All right, so. Fuck. So over here, where the road is, right? In the middle over here? No, that's a brittle starfish, though. That's something I want. Excuse me. Don't worry about me, y'all. Everything's chill. Everything's cool. Okay. Yeah, I will take the pickaxe. I'm about down halfway, so... Unless I... Ooh, purple? Purple? Yes! Finding some good shit in the ocean. Boop! what you get? And grab the seahorse. See, what can I drop that weighs a lot? Uh, 15 kilograms, 5.5, 7.5. I'll drop the angler fish. I don't really need that. Still a little over encumbered. That. Oh, fuck. Right as I did that, the fucking clam was right there that wanted to give me its sweet, sweet nectar of life. And even though the spider crab is, is uh, of a shitty grade, you know, it's only one star. I kind of want to keep it just so I can see uh, what it makes. You know what I mean? I think it's this way down that I... Oh, what the fuck is all this shit? What are y'all do all doing down here, man? Everybody chill out, okay? Leave me alone. No, get away from me, please. Thank you. Is it this way? I don't want to fuck with that big boy. He looks, he just looks rude, you know? Oh, fuck, there's a purple starfish. Oh, yes. I will take that. I will take this clam. Let's see if I can be sneaky. Sneaky clam. Right. Fuck out of here. Anything cool? Hey, trigger bomb traps. I'll take that. Ow. All right, let's see. see. If we can get down here. There y'all are. Bye, hello. I'm getting real spooky vibes. Oh God, is it a boss? The fuck? Oh shit, bro, what the fuck is that thing? 
something just moved past me. Can we go ahead and be our lookout? It's so fucking dark. I need something dangerous there. Ugh. Human. Oh, God damn it. All right, let's drop some shit to get below 63 because it's only one kilogram. Let's drop some of that. Ah, tiger shark meat is pretty solid. Let's drop um, spider crab just because it's uh, just one star. You know what I mean? Oh, God damn it. What's in here? Yep, let's do it. Uh, excuse me. It's also dark in my room, so this is scary as shit. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? So I'm gonna have to, he's gonna blow me away and I'm gonna have to hold on to the anchor. I can smell it. Oh shit, bro. You're huge. Also, why are you so well rendered and I'm not? Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did you tell me to come alone? Okay, let's see if I can find a gun. Cause I just have this net gun. Ah, oh, shit. Hello there. Wolf eel. It's an eel? That thing is horrifying. There are wolf eels that big? I don't think I can run away. Grab it. Grab. Oh, oh. Jesus. I need a gun. Oh, shit. Lit. Oh, what the fuck? That's spooky as all fuck. Okay, I'll take that. And I'll just go ahead and take this. Oof. Okay. Good shot. Oh, it looks really tough. Shining spot on its tail looks weaker. Yeah, get over there. Get over there, boy. Over there. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay, so when he's here, I'll just... Uh. Oh, fuck me, man. Oh, no. Get, let me out of here, bro. Oh, that's not cool. I need to hold on to this whenever he's doing his bullshit. Okay. And this one through that one. Oh, my gosh, that was frightening. Ow, fucker. Jesus, how do I dodge that? Where where do I go? Oh, need to do this. There's no way he died from that. That was it? Hell yeah, that's what you get, idiot, you little bitch. How could a wolf feel be so big? Ahem, I was just about to come and defeat it. Guess I came too late. You're stronger than I expected, human. Now, the big gate over there that's entrance to the village, and my tail is all wet. Take the lead, human. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. Let's check this boy. What you got on you? Wolf eel tail meat. Nice, wolf eel gill. Hell yeah, buddy. Let's see if we can, uh... Get in here. Finally, back to the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have a key, right? Oh, I left it back at the just kidding. Hehe, <laughs> I have it here in my bag. God damn it, you fucking stupid mermaid bitch. Don't do that. Insert the key and get back to the village. Aw, oh, hell yeah, this is dope. I vibe with it. Oh yeah, show me. Show me what I want to see. Not that white ass screen, oh my god. Oh, 
Okay. Is this like the hub world for the underground? No way. I bet it is. So this is... That's right. This is the sea people village we live in. I think there would be a place like this under the sea. Oh! Halt! Wait! How did you... A human get in here? Ramon Suam? Are you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, allow me. I rescued Rama after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Uh, look, y'all. I'm just... I'm chilling. Okay? I don't know if you noticed the proportions of my body, but I'm mostly belly. What does that have to do with this situation? I'm not sure. Tenzin's house. What achievement did I just get? I missed that. <laughs> oh, Rama, my daughter, where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is. <laughs> Watch your fucking dude. Watch your mouth. Okay? How dare you? I have a gun. <clears throat> what is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know, that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Ramo, I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, the ancient texts have all been lost, and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They cannot be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Uh-oh. What the fuck is this? Uh, it shook a burp out of me. Another huge tremor. See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. Tom said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him, not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well... Even... even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. This man can gain the villagers' trust. I'll consider your suggestion. Huh. The villagers' trust? How does he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? Alright, since today's long tryst must have been pretty tiring, Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Request from the sea people. Okay. Once you say you helped my daughter, Rano, it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. What is this? It looks like a fucking mirror. The sea people mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Wow, it's such a thing possible? Various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you will be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find the villagers. Oh, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Damn, son. That's a lot of shit they're giving me. Hell yeah, giant wolf eel. Damn, we got some good stuff. Let's see all the... Nice, we got... A few, uh, what are these? A few eggs, that's good. There you go, Bancho. You didn't get things ready, a Bancho Sushi. Okay. Okay. I saw, I saw the sea people here on the boat, he said I could- Oh, oh, I'm not underwater. He said I could go to the sea people village with us during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Oh, look at the time, Bancho Sushi must have opened already. I should drop by to check and see if anything happened. Uh oh. Mm. Looks like I arrived too late. Do a little cleanup. 
doop 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 We're closed. Get the fuck out. Uh, Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, my work just in ended just now and I was passing by. I saw the lights were d on despite the hour. Ancho seems to have gone home already. Looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. <laughs> Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Oh, come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, back then I thought he was gone for good. Wonder what it was about. <laughs> well, it's nothing that's secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present. He's still a sore sport spot for Bonso. I'm thirsty. Can you give me? F can you first give me a glass of beer? Uh, sure. Boom, baby. Ah, uh, nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. Especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this and as I drink. I'll tell you now a bit about Pancho. Why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. Flashback? Yep. Hell yeah, I love the cinematics in this game. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here for- Oh, uh, it, this is Yoshi talking. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both, tra both tradition and a long history. It's a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and the service had been newly improved. Whoa, shit. Yoshi, do you have a- Oh, manager. Yoshi. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Oh, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? You know the actress Lois Crawford? She made a reservation at her hotel. Lois Crawford, what the fuck is this? She was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. This manager has spent an entire life at the hotel. It was like a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs sought his services. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxurious hotel. Oh, oh, manager. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxurious hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations. Many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia used our services. And we had very high standards for the services we provided. I've heard that- Oh. I've heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky. We have a very high quality hotel with a history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. So there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing, you haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she published at a travel magazine. It appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria hotels are the best of the best, and yes, she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look... Or professional. Writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? Hmm. Well, we should decline. Let's refuse the rever reservation. Don't need to take a customer that will purposely try to hurt our reputation. If we do that, she'll probably use an even more crafty way to get at us. She'll send out messages saying we lack confidence, that we're picky about who we accept, and so on. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I hope you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Uh... Our hotel's strengths are our long history and tradition, as well as our high-quality service. The, only, the way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We need clean rooms and services that match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms and about who will receive her. I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you, your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. Dinner's at our hotel. French. I have fantastic French food at our hotel. It's a pride and joy of Dugong Hotel. Michelin starred head chef at the helm. But you came at the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. The sous chef has taken his place for now. He cooks wonderfully as well. However, our upcoming customer is a very difficult one. Hmm, Japanese. 
Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon or simple donburi. We've been making exceptional, exponential progress, however, after we hired Bancho. We've grown quite dramatically. Bancho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients. And his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bancho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think he'll be all right? Uh, Bancho's skill is indisputable, however. One great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course. It's time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford, after all. I see that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Bancho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshi. Oh, there's a lot of reading in this one. Holy shit. <sighs> Did Ancho, are you there? Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here, that's good. You've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Ancho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the resume were top tier, but Ancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen busy with something day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Are you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Pancho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Pancho, would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? That's right, we have a potent guest who will increase our reputation, or rather, who might send it plummeting into the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. She's an actress that's infamously hard to please and also a gourmet reviewer. Pancho, are you here? It's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say that I should try and please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? Yes, this is important, as Dugong's hotel reputation lies in the balance. Hmm, what do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal. That won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Bancho. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guest. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi, when it comes to servicing food. Oh my god. That type of menu, sushi. A sushi course offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order with a few side dishes interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many types of fish. What do you think of the sushi choice? It's also your specialty. I'm very familiar with the method. However, don't you think it'll be too ordinary? If we choose to go with this, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or olive flounder sushi <coughs> as the main dish. Olive flounder being in season right now. That won't be very impressive, however. Hmm, alright. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means it'd probably be better to employ a western course format instead. Though it'll be a bit different from the traditional method, I think I could add soup, an hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? Not bad, so what do you make for di each dish? Good god, dude, I'm so sick of reading all this shit. There's soup to begin with. Please just... Okay, thank God. I think it'll be fine. The bear is next. Suppose shrimp would be the lot. It's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. So this is where we add a little spice. I'm gonna put gunpowder in it. Let's have a good... Let's hear it. Shark. Thinking of using a dish that uses a shark head. Shark? Sharks can be eaten? Sharks are very tasty. And they grow fat, boosting the flavor. Eating the cheeks in particular has a lovely chewy texture. Reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. Shark is too exotic of an ingredient. When we use something more widely consumed, especially considering this is 
good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. Best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. I'll give it some th thought. I'm not sure if it'll be okay. Can't help but not think it. Think it's not that great of an idea. If you serve this bullshit, things go sideways. The consequences won't just affect you. We'll both be to blame. She's coming to the Dugan Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. We have to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience. Hotel will stand to lose. There's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know just from taking a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. She's an extremely picky person. What a pity. I'll go with shrimp tem tempura then, though it can't compare to shark, you fucking bitch. Oh, here's this lady. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Boncho. Hmm, he's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, tight-lipped, are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words? <laughs> He seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old, old hotel. I liked the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a quiche quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gym. Bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my bosom figure. It's not our intention. You stay be as restful as possible. Everybody has their preferred way of resting. But the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So what's for dinner? A Japanese course. Oh. A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. First dishes are... Steam snapper. And roe. Yeah, soup features rich flavor of it. Is this a Japanese soup? It's got a bland flavor coupled with spicy scent. Flavor of the sashimi. Any bit of flavoring provided by a condiment made from seven different spices. Next dish is shark head, bitch. I'm I'm giving her a whole fucking shark. Emperor and dessert are left. Don't tell me it's shrimp. It's the sort that's commonly served with rice. Ugh. There's no doubt the usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. Hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat a food that's quite average? <laughs> Even so, sure our food is better than most of the other restaurants. Snap a suit. Well, soup or something was pretty interesting, but that's it. It was just fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste. You added sticky yam on top. I didn't really like the texture. <laughs> oh dear, it seems the Japanese food isn't your liking. We served you Japanese. My mistake. Please accept your apologies. Wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. Hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose food should be healthy at the very least. Um, listen up, bitch. Bancho. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Bancho. I don't really talk, but I've been listening. Oh, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anyone else, right? Now, Bancho, this loss here is just... It is my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Let me make it up to you. Oh, well, gosh, I'm a very busy woman. Why is it so much bigger text? What you witnessed today aren't what I can really do. I have a huge dick, and I put it usually into my food. Actually, you can't be talking about saying you have something else you think will satisfy me. Yes, my cock. All right, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Oh, Boncho, you can't be thinking of... Her name is Yoshi. Is there something I'm missing? Done. Whole roasted shark head. Oh my god. This is... You fried the whole head? It is incredible. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. The meat in your cheeks are about to be slapped. You'll never taste something like this anywhere. It's high quality. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What the fuck are you talking about, you stupid idiot? Take a bite. Not happy about this. Is this what service is like? It's all my fault. Now, Bancho, Yoshi, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lois. I should have been more vigilant. 
Uh, listen, it may not look great, but why aren't you even trying it, you pussy? Pancho, now is it? I find this highly unpleasant. This is this some kind of hidden camera prank or a punishment? Pay for treating me this way. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. Well, I guess I'm not clapping that cheeks. That bitch's cheeks tonight. But that's okay, because she was kind of a bitch. Pancho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It wasn't so much the cooking as the ingredients and cooking methods he researched. Hmm. Interesting, but, uh, weird. Was it stubborn inside of him that allowed him to attain his current level? Working with you, he even started social media. I feel like something changed. I think you're good. Please continue to get along. Yeah, sure, I'll help him focus on his cooking while I rub my fucking nipples fucking off. I keep rubbing them. Uh, I can't stop. Damn, that was a long cutscene. Okay. That is officially... Oh, no, we gotta talk to fucking Dr. Corncob or Bacon or whatever this dude's name is. Oh, Dave, you went around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio, either. I was at the Sea People Village. You... You what? Uh... <laughs> this guy, he's an asshole. I envy you, what an experience. Uh, I don't know how to help, but they're like... Whole village is pretty fucked. Okay, go talk to him. Only one person can use the mirror. What an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to pay- I mean, I'll help you out at the Cobra shop. Yeah, sure, whatever. Bye-bye now. Yeah, use a mirror. Travel to the village. Can't use it at night. Alright, thank y'all so much for joining me. I hope that you will join me on the next episode. We're almost to the Tuna event. Um, we officially have fast travel to the Sea People's Village, which I feel like is going to be another kind of hub area. And we're learning more about Boncho, so make sure you like or dislike the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date. I love each and every one of you, but not equally. You have to earn my love, but I'm a slut, so it's easy to earn. All right, love y'all. Bye-bye.